Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. I took this pop punk song and I found a really cool guitar sample. So sick. And I flipped it into... I guess we'd call it house, but the purists would yell at me. That's the easiest label I can attach this too. If you know what genre it is, comment below. But when I'm not listening to EDM, I'm listening to emo and pop punk a lot. So I found this awesome band. They're called Hot Mulligan. Freaking awesome. They just put up this album. If you're into that kind of music, check that out. But I just wanted to spend today and go through that project file really quick. So let's start with how I did the drum. So the drums are pretty straightforward. You got your four to the floor kick. So just in drum rack here, I've actually used a really old sample pack that I got a long, long time ago, back when I first started producing, and it still has the best electro and how it sounds in it. And that's Dead Mouse's X for sample pack. So it's Steve Duda and Dead Mouse Kings, our serum boys. Kick, four to the floor, just like that. And then what makes house music house music is that offbeat hat. And I just used a loop for it because I can't be bothered sometimes to draw it all out myself. And, you know, sometimes the loops are made so that they just have that little groove that goes along with them to give it that house feel. Mm. It's already a house song. Just kidding, guys. I know there's more to it than that, but pretty much already is. And you know what they do? They just clap. Definitely had nights where I was up till 6 a.m. at a rave, literally listening to this exact same beat. You know what? I loved it, okay? And that's the drums. I had your little crashes and your fills. So how do we take this? How do we make this into something more? I like to add the bass. So the bass in this song sounds like. Made all of the sounds in this song pretty much with either just sine waves or saw waves. No crazy plugins. So as you can see here, saw wave, low pass filter, and a square sub, that's it. Either way, that, that's not where the sound comes from. The sound comes from this auto filter here because I like to take out all of the harsh highs, especially in this type of music. But let me show you the little, the little rhythmic tricks that get you that, that house bounce. The bouncy house, bouncy castle. What, where's my brain going? Guys, I don't, we go to auto pan here, boom. Go ahead and set it to the triangle setting. Make them out about 80% so that it doesn't pan all the way. Make sure that our phase is 0%. Here is where the magic happens here in the rate. Set that bad boy to 3 16th. Oh baby, you get that bounce. Before, we have these written out as full four bar, just long, long boys. So that, plus side chain, obviously don't forget the side chain, which by the way, I will add in my drop group. If you've not seen my mastering video where I show you how to make this template, click here, but put a side chain on that bad boy, add that auto pan on and mm, instant bounce. Next thing I like to add for the rest of the drop. Oh, but Ash, you were talking about how you made a pop punk song into house music. I don't hear any pop punk stuff in it. Well, hang on, friend. It is right here. This check. This check. Patience. I'm on, I'm on a level today, guys. So this is what it sounds like. I arranged it, cut it up, and I side-chained it so you got a little... It's kind of that old-school disco feel. That was my whole concept. I'm like, oh, they did this with disco. Can I do it with emo? Because that's my brain. I, I hear a genre of music and I'm like, but how can I make it emo? So cool. Either way, I added the Foreman plus five to give it a little bit more tonality. Our good friend OTT to really, really bring out the tonality that the Foreman vocoder gives it. The Foreman plus five is a vocoder preset. Sorry, I just said the name of it and I didn't even show y'all, but that is under vocoder here. And it is my favorite Foreman plus five, that baby. Love it. Then a little bit of auto filter. Kind of acts as an EQ to take off all the highs. Also allows me the ability to automate it so that I get that filtery sound. I don't think I ever end up doing it in this song, but I like doing that as a habit just so I have it, you know? I have it just to have it. Say it with me. Have it just to have it. And then just reverb on it. And it layers so nicely with the bass. And then the last little piece on this drop is a little vocal. 
I tried using the original vocal from the song, but I found the tonality didn't quite fit well. It was fantastic vocal still. But instead I just opted for the classic female house vocal to keep it more in the realm of EDM versus, you know. And that's just reverb OTT, chopped up. It's not even chopped into anything fancy, just on the beat. So far, we've got a little... And of course, I had to sneak the emo vocal in there. I can't, I can't not. And then, for the very last little bit, I learned this actually from Joyride. What he likes to do is he likes to add little blips and lasers just in the background, but just enough so that it sort of adds another layer to the drop without overtaking it. But when you take it away, totally miss it. It's crazy. So what I did is I took these sonar sound effects. I just have that going on the beat. Then I've also got these little like flippy laser things. And that goes throughout the whole drop. And this is without. Then once I add them on, it's like, what? And finally, just a little bit of effects. And then good old sub bass. Literally just have a sub bass underneath to give it that final rumble. And that's that. That's a little, it's a quick little house-ish tutorial. Hope y'all like it. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe for more. I'll be putting this project file on Patreon. I'm gonna be launching my Patreon. I'm doing it. So I'll be posting right now on my Patreon all of the project files I've done for the one hour challenge. So that includes the baby, Machine Gun Kelly, Drake, Selena Gomez, all of that. I'm gonna put it on the Patreon. It'll be just one tier. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be adding more to it. But if you wanna start supporting me now, I love it. I love the support I'm getting so far. If you wanna even help me out even more, help the channel really, really grow. So go ahead, check that out. Download this project file there. Download all the other one hour project files as well. Also include all the serum presets, all of that. You'll see. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I will be posting more on those as well. That's it. Thank you so much. Peace. Bye. Check out Hot Mulligan. Check them out. They're good boys. If you like emo music, pop punk, check out all these bands.